Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and this is the last and seventh video of modeling a jet plane in 3ds Max for Paper Vision 3D. Basically, there's two very important points we need to treat here, and that's putting materials on the plane and setting the collada point. Now, basically, what we're going to do is cut in a window for the cockpit, and we're going to put on some glass material and then some skin material and some thruster materials. And just remember, once you put those material positions on in 3ds Max, Swift 3D will remember those positions. Now, I'm not going to do a real fancy job of it right now. We have a whole series on materials, and you want to go to that uh, in the future. The next part, very important here, you're going to create a, a nice object in Swift 3D or in 3ds Max. It's going to uh, export it as a collada file and bring it into Paper Vision, and the pivot point's not going to be right. It's going to be too far away or in the wrong position, and you're going to rotate and go, man, that looks bad. How do I change that? And what do you do? Very, the simplest way to do that is just take it back into 3ds Max or into Swift 3D and just reposition your craft. And as you reposition your craft, that pivot point will change. Easiest way to do it, <laughs> save you a lot of frustration and time. I've tried to do it other ways, but I just find this to be the fastest and easiest way. Um, so we'll show you how to do that probably in the next series. In this series, we're going to concentrate on cutting in that window and uh, putting on those materials. So let's go do it. So here's a craft we've built. I'm going to cut a line down here in the middle and bring in the cop pick. So let's go ahead and Control R to arc rotate around. Let's click it to activate. Control R to rotate around. I'm going to cut a line just straight across here. So Alt C is my cut command, and just go ahead and cut one and cut two. Now I could have actually done this by uh, connecting, but this is fine. Right click, get out of that. Now I have my line here. Now I'm going to select, uh, go to two to select your, uh, let's go to Q and then two to select your edge mode, and let's go ahead and Select some edges here. And now I'm going to use my chamfer command, which is uh, Control Shift C. And I'm going to chamfer this out. There we go. Cutting in a nice little cockpit right there. And I'm going to cut one more line across to get me some polygons out. So let's go ahead and hit 2 again to get that edge mode. 1, 1, two, three, four, and I'm going to go ahead and hit that uh, Control-Shift-F to cut that line across. And now I'm ready to do a good job with that cockpit window. So Control-R to rotate around. Good. So let's start working with some points. Let one to get to the uh, vertex mode. Let's grab this point and grab this point. And I'm going to hit R to expand, so I can move that out a little bit. And actually bring that up a little bit using uh, W, so move that up. There you go. And let's get that center point, too. Click on that and move that up. All right. Uh, let's go to the next. Control R just to rotate right down a little bit. Uh, and hit 1 to get to vertex mode. 1, 1, 2. And we're going to go to R to expand a little bit. Just expand that out a little bit. There we go. I think I'll bring that up as well a little bit. So one, hit your one command on Q to get off of that, and one, and just select your vertices. And we've done this so many times. I'm kind of not completely taking you through the steps. So you you're, you're good at this now. So you need my help that much. But W, let's bring that up a little bit. There we go. And uh, I'm going to bring that center point up a little bit too as well. So, and just bring that up. And now we're going to control R around to see how we look. And that's not too bad. So let's go ahead and put our glass material in right now. Let's put one, bring one more point up, though. Let's hit one, and like I said, you can spend all week uh, doing this stuff. It's lots of fun. And we've got to basically just move on with it. But just you've got the basics here. So control R, and that looks fairly good for what I want to do. Let's put the glass in and the materials at this point. So our plane's ready to start throwing materials. Uh, let's do that in the uh, next part. Okay, let's go ahead and put our materials on real quick. Uh, hit M for the materials uh, modifier, or materials uh, studio. We're going to go ahead and grab some materials and put on these three spheres, and then we're going to throw those materials onto the plane. So click on the first sphere, and we've done this before in previous videos, so go check that out. Hit diffuse, the little box there, double click to get your bitmap, and go find some nice images. So let's go ahead and go to the sample files that were shipped, and go to maps. 
And let's uh, look for metal. And we'll just hit this thumbnail here. And there's a nice little metal to put on the plane on the outside. At least it will be very recognizable. Uh, let's go to the next one. Uh, we're going to get a glass material. Double click here. And you can actually use anything you want here. We're just trying to get the materials straightened, so we'll just choose a water material. And uh, finally, be a thruster material. And let's go ahead and uh, double click here and choose bitmap and find a thruster material. And we want something that looks like fire. We'll just choose lights here, nothing there. Let's go to uh, reflection. And once again, not important here, but in 3ds, in Swift 3D, we'll uh, clean this up a little bit. So go to thumbnails, and we'll just grab something that's bright looking. That's good. And now let's go ahead and uh, just start dragging the materials on. So we'll just drag this onto the whole plane. And then they're going to control R. And I want to highlight the polygons. I want to put the glass material on. So here we go right here. That's a Q. Then 4. And start selecting polygons. And just control click on the polygons that you want to put the glass on. All right. And we'll just take our glass material and we'll just drag it right on. Cool. And we can hit this if you want to see that. And we want to make sure we get off of this so we don't put the uh, other materials on. Shift Q to render. And you can see there is a different material on that. Uh, so let's uh, get out of that. Let's control R to rotate to the thruster or to the uh, intake valve. And we're going to go ahead and hit um, Q to get out of that. And go to 4 to make sure we're in selection mode. Select that polygon. Let's try that again. There we go. And let's drag our other material to represent the fire. Good. And there you go. You can see it's on there. Let's make sure we're off of that. And control R around. Let's get that on the back, on the thrusters. And click and go back to 4, the polygon mode. And control click on that and bring that on there as well. So you're all ready to go. So now that we've finished our jet plane, we want to export it for the web. So go to File, Export. And we're going to export this so we can bring this up in Swift 3D. So we'll make sure you have chosen down here 3DS Studio. And now let's give it a name. We'll call it My Jet for the Web. And hit Save. And at this point, we're going to bring up Swift 3D and we're going to bring it into Swift 3D. So Swift 3D, so go File, New from 3DS. And we'll navigate to the folder that we put it in. And here's my jet for the web. And there it is. So if I go ahead and hit Control A to select everything, and let's kind of rotate around, take a look at it a little bit. There's our plane. There you go. All right, let's throw some materials on it and see if indeed our material positions were preserved. And we'll just come down here to the material editor. Later, I'm going to show you how to work with Swift 3D a little bit more. That's in another uh, section of this tutorial. Uh, but we'll just do it real fast. Go to bitmaps is what you want to do, and we're just going to choose some materials down here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, just grab kind of a body material, just throw it on the body. And see, it's remembering the positions. Isn't that pretty cool? And we're going to put a glass on here, so let's kind of look for a watery, like, uh, clear material. Uh, there's a... Actually, just choose a globe like the Earth if you want to. Throw that on. You see, there's that blue material. And now let's put the fire material on, indeed, some type of red, fiery material. And there we go. Pretty cool. And, and let's just rotate around to make sure that got put on the thrusters. So rotate around. And see, that was put on the thrusters as well. So you see, very important point here is that Swift 3D remembers the... We're going to export this for paper vision. So go to File, Export uh, for paper vision. And we're going to go ahead and uh, put in a file so we know where it is on my desktop and hit uh, save. In our next series, we're going to bring this model into uh, paper vision. So we've exported our plane uh, from uh, Swift 3D to a Carlotta file. And here's the files right here, the three uh, image files and the Carlotta file. And in the next series, we're going to actually bring this into an application we've written so we can fly that plane around the screen. So I'll see you then. Uh, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University.